following is an update and technical analysis on Bitcoin, the largest component to the cryptocurrency markets here off the daily interval. In light of my previous update, it is noteworthy to observe that we experienced a, a decisive a rebound from the primary uptrend line, uh, new uh, primary uptrend line that had initially uh, stated uh, yielding a highly favorable, favorable outcomes for individuals engaged in long trading bullish bull traders and uh, long-term investors employing the dollar cost average strategy here uh, whereas uh, that new reactionary low uptrend line uh, was good for 27 percent in gains there uh, it is uh, now however uh, imperative uh, to bring to your attention a pretty substantial development emerging from the daily analysis uh, technical intervals uh, down to the hourly intervals uh, to 40 minute intervals that i will hone in on here uh, within this video, uh, characterized now uh, by the emergence of negative and bearish divergences that have uh, significantly um, expanded in magnitude uh, right off the uh, January 2023 from the very beginning of the year, as bullish as this may seem, as, uh, as amazingly uh, thresholds uh, from the very beginning of the year. Uh, these negative and or bearish divergences have only continued uh, to construct on a much, much larger scale, whereas now I see a, a potential uh, what may be uh, now a uh, cluster island looking top here. We could uh, continue to bounce and weave uh, amongst this uh, consolidation phase uh, for quite some time, but that's exactly what uh, uh, it is starting to, courts, uh, to, starting to construct and structure uh, within the foundations of that uh, uh, pattern there is exactly what I see there. Whereas we have now a, a confirmed a bearish crossover here on the moving average convergence um, with confirmed uh, what we have now, a nice clean uh, bearish doji star candle here on the daily. Whereas uh, we snapped this uh, going way back in issuance of my previous videos where we actually shorted off the neckline and this primary reactionary high downtrend line off the April uh, reactionary highs there uh, coinciding with the 50 day moving average here with the till beaded line here. And uh, that was great for uh, nice, clean, great uh, short setups where we actually came back and covered our position right for an 11 double digit percent drop there and bounced right off that uh, support zone. Oh, that is amazing support. Uh, I would only suspect that to be uh, potentially uh, revisited where we put in a nice, clean, divergent low, had positive and bullish divergences, and we just blasted to the upside. Talk about a <laughs> short squeeze setup. But again, when you break that level, when we pop that level, that just uh, issues and shows the validity of the velocity of that move uh, corresponding with that primary reactionary high downtrend line. And again, just, uh, just again, just strengthens uh, the move, uh, just the velocity of that move uh, validates uh, that key inflection point, whereas you have that dual resistance uh, hovering in up above there. And uh, again, we're at a key pivotal moment now, uh, whereas I see an aggressive short trade setup for the near term and or uh, uh, more active uh, traders, whereas you have this uh, clean uh, 31, 9, 14, 30 uh, price resistance honing up above as well, where you could begin to scale in short. Uh, maybe on a, especially on a revisit uh, to that back test, and which would, uh, you know, put in a marginal new high, uh, only extending these divergences. Uh, bull traders, long traders, they want to see a complete, uh, sh another uh, shorts to be squeezed out on a solid daily candle close breakout and pop that level, pop that level to increase the odds of burning off these negative and or bearish divergences uh, to the upside for an extended, much, much larger move to the upside. And I would only expect shorts to get completely squeezed out on a huge a rush for the exits back in, back into the bear caves and uh, i would only suspect a, a pretty uh, marginal big move to the upside uh, uh honing in on to that next target at thirty four thousand four eighty nine, a uh, price resistance there well we'll see what's going on in the near term uh technical hood underneath uh, bitcoin and here what i see this is what i see here on the 240 minute interval whereas we have uh now near term exaggerated uh bearish divergences uh with the equal highs there uh, pretty sloping divergences amongst all three technical momentum indicators with a confirmed crossover here on the moving average convergence. So I believe we've reached a critical pivotal juncture here uh, that I haven't seen uh, since uh, that first time we snapped that uh, head and shoulder top off the daily interval for a short trade setup. So this is where, as an objective, uh, an aggressive short trade setup with some uh, key targets below here to watch. Whereas you have, uh, uh, you, you know, even again, a marginal new high extend that exaggerated uh, positive uh, negative divergence, uh, which would be a larger move on a snapback counter trend rally extru uh, increasing the consolidation phase and or extending it and then for a potential prolonged move uh back down to my first target at 29 call it 30,000 spot price there for 1.8 percent drop that is going to be the level to watch in my opinion uh if we snap that level uh especially the 29 price support below call it minor support i would only suspect a, a pretty large wave uh, of selling uh force force stops to go off and uh, a much larger move back down to uh, so 29,699 for a 2.8% drop. 
uh, down to the 786 fibs retracement here for, uh, call it 28897 for a 5.3% drop down to 28628 uh, uh, for a 6.2% drop down to the 618 fibs retracement call it 28000 for an 8.2% drop down to 27324 price support uh, for a double digit 10.4% drop as for bull traders, long traders, uh, they need to defend these levels really at all cost and defend uh, the 30,000 mark uh, here uh, could continue uh, this consolidation phase and then eventually a uh, burnout and again, pop that 31,914 price resistance coinciding synchronized with the daily interval for a big move to the upside, initially just burning off these near term exaggerated bearish divergences uh, for a big prolonged move to the upside, whereas you have the zero line thresholds here on the moving average convergence to be heavily defended avert the crossover uh, put in a which you would call a slip inside slip inside uh, avert of that uh, potential uh, technical momentum indicator sell signal uh, for a nice clean move to the upside uh, and a break, big breakout and I, again i would only suspect a, a pretty powerful move if uh, if 31 914 is taken out with conviction and authority i want to move you on to the us dollar index here futures off the weekly interval uh, where again highly correlated bitcoin uh, if and when a uh, bitcoin has a a much larger move to the downside Whereas we have a, a pretty clean bullish uh, megaphone uh, pattern, uh, positive divergence, nice divergent low, clean positive divergences on all three technical momentum indicators with a confirmed bullish crossover, and a nice, uh, uh, nice moving average convergence crossover there on the twelve twenty six nine, and uh, it's going to be a, a key pivotal inflection point. Whereas we have this primary reactionary high downtrend line here, off the November two thousand twenty two reactionary highs there, uh, coinciding. Uh, with the 618 fibs retracement and if that gets taken out that level gets popped uh, on a breakout move that is uh, could be uh, just increased odds for a extreme move to the upside in my opinion on a solid weekly uh, candle close uh, candle print close above and then i would only suspect uh, some pretty bullish uh, dollar traders to start honing into that next level putting extreme pressure on the cryptocurrency markets u.s indices and really all commodities across the board there with a Federal Reserve dot plot indicating a projected implementation of two additional rate hikes and a development of exerted significant pressure on various assets. Whereas attempted as a bluff maneuver, but it inadvertently uh, triggering a detrimental rug pull effect.